Now let me tell y'all a story. Okay, I got off work at 12 and I decided to go get a couple of dollars of gas, go to Walmart to get, you know, some essentials that I need. You know, booty paper, popcorn. And I was also looking for a drink that I have been trying to taste. It's pretty much a kombucha and they used to carry a grape chia flavor that it was the freaking bomb, but they don't anymore. Why? Because I started buying it. So I haven't seen the grape flavor in a while, but I did see one that's raspberry chia, which I am trying. They didn't have it at Walmart. They didn't have it at another supermarket that I went to. They didn't have it at one of those smaller Walmarts. They called them the neighborhood Walmarts. And they only had it at Harris Teeter for like a dollar more expensive. So I said, you know what, whatever. I just want to freaking try this. A sister is thirsty and this is what I want to try. After hunting for two hours, I finally got my hands on it. I know I'm sounding like a really entitled person, but it's just when I didn't have the money to buy it, it was all over my face. Today that I actually have a couple of bucks to invest in it. So anyways, the next story will wait until I get home. I will go ahead and sample this, try it, see if it was worth the trouble and it better be because otherwise I am going to go ham okay so this is one of those drinks that it is kind of carbonated so you want to lightly gently give it a shake okay moment of truth all right here goes it smells good You know what? It was worth the trouble. It's not as good as the grape one, but it was worth the trouble. So if you guys are not familiar with kombucha, kombucha is pretty much a fermented drink, which is like vinegary. And it's a probiotic. That's really why I drink it. The ingredients are kombucha, which of course is fermented tea that because it's fermented, it has naturally recurring alcohol. But this is not an alcoholic drink. Don't think that I'm drinking and driving. There is kombucha that has an alcoholic percentage that's, you know, high enough for you to not be able to drink it. And it's considered an alcoholic drink, so you have to show your ID and everything. But not for this one. It has very, very little sugar, just 2 grams. Carbs, 7 grams. And only 70 calories for this whole bottle. Excuse me. This whole bottle would be 140 calories because it's 70 calories for every 8 fluid ounces and this is 16 ounces. But yeah, this is super awesome. It's a very refreshing drink. It's not sugary, it's, it'll hydrate you, that's for sure. And you also get some good bacteria, like yogurt does, a probiotic. Yeah, you guys, I would totally recommend it. It has like a really vinegary taste to it so if you're not a fan of vinegar i would still say try it because i personally do not love vinegar but mixed like this it's really good so yeah you should give it a try and the chia seeds give it a really weird texture and they tend to get stuck in your teeth which i'm looking good right now <laughs> but yeah that's something that you really want to watch out for so the thought about Walmart that I had that I wanted to share with you guys was as of lately I've been seeing some specific Walmarts that are really really serious about checking your receipt to make sure that the groceries that you bought were paid for and not only that there is like just one person by the entrance dash exit or one of them and they are backing up traffic um, especially close to the checkout where you check yourself out and they really really like look at your card and make sure that every single item is in your receipt and that got me thinking 
man, there is like no other store except Walmart that I've ever been to that ever does that. And I'm thinking to myself, isn't Walmart like the largest walk-in retailer out there? Multi-billionaires and they are doing this? Maybe I'm missing the point. Maybe I don't get it. Like your employees have to recur to welfare to stay alive. You paid them either minimum wage or close to minimum. Of course, getting a raise is like, I hear that it's incredibly challenging to nearly impossible. Why do you do that? Why do you feel compelled to do that? Like that makes you look so horrible as a company. Your paranoia, your greed is like so immense that you have to go to the trouble of making everybody go through a security check or something. Are you really losing that much money? I don't get it. You're not going anywhere. Walmart is not disappearing. It's going to be there for a long time, if not forever. You're freaking gigantic. You have overseas stores. If you're worried about losing money, if you're losing money to theft, for example, maybe treat your workers better, like compensate them better. Sometimes I feel like some of the theft happens internally. I'm not trying to justify employees because theft is wrong in general, but if they are feeling compelled to do that, it's because something's not right and sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to survive you know i've never stolen like i cannot do that it's like i would rather ask for help and get something legally than get in trouble for it later but i'm just saying every time i go to walmart and they ask me to like look at my receipt i'm like oh, really you really believe that i'm stealing something and me stealing something is really going to cost for this store to shut down uh, I, I don't know it's just i go to other places and shopping is such a pleasant experience and i can also tell the cashier save the receipt don't print a receipt because i don't need it i already have a digital copy you have a digital copy so let's save that paper and not be wasteful but at walmart you can't do that so I don't know you guys, I just wanted to really get that out of my chest. I've been meaning to say that for a long time, but what do you guys think? What do you guys have to say? Am I missing the point? Am I wrong in saying that, thinking that, feeling that way? Do you have anything to add? Anything that you just want to educate me on? I'm open because I really want to learn. It's just that it doesn't look good for a business to be doing that. You know, it's like these people, these customers are the ones who are putting you where you are at in this position of power with this wealth so you're going to treat your patrons like they are really people without integrity you know that's how i would feel if i took this more personal and if i were more sensitive about it that's how i would feel and i wouldn't like going there to support the place and conduct business over there i barely do any shopping at walmart i only do any shopping there whenever it's convenient like if i'm getting a money order or if i happen to be like on my way home there's one right there and they usually have good prices and as of lately given my mother situation i'm really trying to make my money stretch so you know i'm having to go to places I don't really want to support. But yeah, you guys, just fill me in, tell me what you think. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back with another video super soon. If not today, definitely tomorrow. It may be short, but I know I'll have something to say. But, but for now, I just wanted to conclude this one right here. And to my new subscribers, welcome. Let me know which video brought you here, which video made you find my channel, or if you found me because I left a comment in some other videos or something. Let me know. I'm really curious to know what brought everybody here because I know some people found me because of my food videos, other people found me because of my opinions on race, other people found me because of my life talks, like the video about living without a family. So yeah, I'm just curious because I would like to keep the content as diverse as I can. I don't want to make this completely about me without considering you, you know? It's like, I want to acknowledge that all of you are living, breathing people who have your preferences. So I'm just curious because that is also going to help me in the future.
something that I want to do is uh, have a schedule. I've seen other YouTubers do that. Like on Monday, you may do gaming talks. On Tuesdays, you may do political talks. Wednesdays, maybe food talks, you know, stuff like that. I wish I had a more organized schedule. And that way, it may even make it easier for me to upload on a daily basis. I'm just trying different things now, just experimenting to see what works best, but at the same time, I want to make it relevant for you guys. And to those of you who have been subscribed to me for a little while, thank you so much. It means a whole lot. I've had a lot of fun getting to know some of you. You guys have made me laugh, you guys have inspired me, and yeah, I hope you decide to stick around. Like I said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you soon.